Hey folks, Brian here. Today I want to show you how to export your 3D models from Blender into two different file formats, the Object Wavefront file format and the Stanford Polygon PLY format. And we're going to export these into these two files, which are data files that your program can read and easily convert into vertex data for OpenGL. A lot better than hard coding all these points or calculating them with complex math. So first, let's go to Blender. We've got a simple plane here of four points. And we can simply select the plane or not and go to File, Export, Wavefront, Object. And the reason why I said you don't have to select it is that in the object file format, you can export multiple objects. So you could have that plane there, but maybe you also have another model for a car or something and it'll export both objects into a single file which could be good or bad depending on your uh, use case. Next we have different options to include normals which are often needed for lighting and texture coordinates to give it a texture. And one interesting option I really like with object is triangulate faces and we saw that we had a four point plane there by clicking this option it will make those into triangles and this is very convenient for OpenGL which prefers triangular rendering in some some versions. So if we hop over and look at the file each line has a little uh, prefix that indicates what it is for and O is for object, V is for vertex with X, Y, and Z VT for texture coordinate with your S and T values or U and V values and you have VN for normals. And finally at the bottom you've got the faces and each triplet here references back to the order of the vertices, texture coordinates and normals that appeared in the file. And so 2 refers to the second vertex, 1 refers to the first texture coordinate and normal of one returns to the refers to the first vertex normal. I know it annoyingly starts from one but that's usually just a small issue. And here we can see it included two faces because it triangulated the plane into two triangles. So the object file, file format is very simple. So now let's go to Blender and here is the mesh that I'm using for exporting to PLY. It's the same thing, but you can see I've flattened it on the X and Y axis. Um, when I export this file format, it renders properly when I lay it down like this, rather than uh, using Z as the Y for object file format. So now we do the same thing. We go to export, but choose PLY instead. And one thing you'll notice is there are a lot less options, which I like, and you can only export one model at a time to a single file. So you've got your UVs, your normals, but also something interesting with vertex colors. If you have colors for your vertices and you don't have textures, then the PLY format allows you to do that. One thing you'll notice is that I've actually triangulated this mesh already and there wasn't a triangulate faces option there. But at least you can do that in Blender by going to Mesh, Faces, and Triangulate to create the triangles yourself. Here I've already done that and divided the plane into triangles. And if we hop over to the data file, you can see that it's sort of similar to the object file format. It's got lines starting with tokens again and first it defines an element and it's a vertex and four means there are four elements of the type vertex in the data section so the first four rows here are vertex data then if we skip down and go to the element of face two here it says there are two faces so the last two rows in the data section are faces to decode each line, 
we look at the properties that follow the element. Here the vertex has eight properties. So the first one is X, the second one is Y, the third one is Z, and so forth as they appear here. Now these are scalar properties, but properties can also be lists, as this face here has a property of a list. And the first type, unsigned character, corresponds to the first value, and then the unsigned integer refers to the list values the list element type and here we can see that there's three elements in the list and then the actual data values and we can see that this is a face uh, a three point face because we created two triangles out of it so the reason why I switched over to the PLOI was because I actually had an option to do vertex colors without texture coordinates but also this ability to expand this file with more properties um, seemed like it could be useful. Even in code I could create a small string defining custom properties to load in um, maybe different types of program specific data into my program. So right now I've written code to parse both of these files but I'm going to delete the object file format now but they're both very simple and you can do it in about 150 lines doesn't matter what file type you use finally for both file formats when you're parsing um, the values the texture coordinates are flipped due to OpenGL having a different origin OpenGL has an origin in the lower left while these elements um, these file formats put the origin elsewhere and here I'm trying to find the code quickly to show you but when you read in the texture coordinate for T you can subtract 1 minus T to flip it over correctly so now you know about the two different file formats that you can use to export your OpenGL data uh, good luck I'm switching over to PLY and I'm going to delete this object code now. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. And actually I noticed it is not um, flat, which is a mistake. Glad I did this video.